Come forth, my servant. Wait, you're supposed to do the cringy line, Ishtola. You changed it? Man. Um. I revised the incantation, which is not to say you know how it went before. <gasps> oh, 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 I... I... <laughs> I logged out in the right spot. What the? Guys, where is everyone? <laughs> I'm actually the first one here. <laughs> Dead game. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Patch 6.5 story. Oh, Nutri, I was about to call for you. There have been developments concerning the Void Gate that I would discuss with everyone. Coincidentally, I am told Yustola will be returning shortly. I dare hope she has made some progress in devising a way to harness the first light. Oh yeah, I forgot the, the first was like the go-to plan for this. Hello? What's she got there? Some kind of aether device? My apologies for the delay. She got that Alienware PC. Oh, hell nah. That thing's gonna fucking die. <laughs> I prayed that heart coming with glad tidings. Bro, if he stole a rolled up with an Alienware PC to harness the void <laughs> or harness the light of the void, we'd be fucked. <laughs> with findings well worth many sleepless nights, I am plad I am pleased to report. Looks like it's got some ironworks stuff on it. Eager though I am to hear the details, I must first share tidings of my own. Grave ones. Uh-oh. Oriange hath sent word from the void gate in Merlimentorum. Hi. The situation is precarious. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. I called Ferris to wake him up. I'm already in <laughs> and I'm doing the story right now. I'm in key right now. Okay. Awesome. They continue to rely upon the brands to contain the forces which would otherwise flow freely into the source. Yet those, uh, yet though these measures were sufficient to imprison a fragment of Zodiac for aeons, against our enemy's determined onslaught, they are degrading at an unsettling race, or rate. The Loporits are sparing no effort to sustain the brands, but tis only a matter of time ere they fail. Yeah, I, I kind of saw that two coming. Phones. Hey, what's up, bro? Fuck my life, Dude, man. Good I, morning. I forgot to tell you that, like, non raid patches <laughs> can come up, like, hours early oh, yeah. if they finish early. Oh. I forgot, dude, until I rolled out of bed and I saw Mr. Happy said, hey, they're coming up in 20 minutes. <laughs> I was like, fuck, Jesus. I rolled out of bed. Unless we act soon, there shall be no stopping Golbez from realizing yeah, his ambition. Good. That Zeromus should test the seal even when not at full strength. Tis every bit as terrible as we feared. Aye, we must needs vanquish it, to which end we require a means to pierce its dark shroud. So did you find it? A way to, uh, to bring resplendent light to bear against our foe? Dude, I fucking, I spoiled myself, chat, on what uh, Zeromus looks like. <laughs> I didn't watch the live letter, the last live letter. I just watched a, like a quick recap of it. Apparently they showed him in the live letter and then in the fucking patch notes that I read, they just put a big ass screenshot of what he looks like. So I was scrolling down and I went, oh, okay. Well, I guess, <laughs> I guess that's him. <laughs> the theory was simple. We harness the light from the first and channel it to the 13th. Such a feat would require us to manipulate vast amounts of energy to say the least. It's an Xbox 360 from the 2007 era. We're going to boot up Halo. Oh shit, fucking balls. Yeah! And so I consulted Sid and his fellows who rose to the challenge and produced bespoke devices, aether transmitters. Ooh, can I throw them like pokeballs? These marvelous contraptions can be placed at locations of choosing to facilitate the flow of aether. In other words, we can use them to create ethereal currents. Oh shit. Wait, custom teleport locations? That such a thing should be possible. We shall first direct aether from Nabatharang, where the flood of light was halted into the crystal tower. We all know from personal experience that wonders, the wonders of which it is capable, wonders which suit our needs perfectly. Hmm. I should mention uh, that the knowledge Grahatia acquired from Archimagus Noah was also a source of inspiration. Okay. Oh. Oh. Ah. Cool. I feel like having them on the ground is not the best idea. Does it literally just make like a fence? Once we have infused the crystal tower with sufficient aether, we shall send it into the rift. Okay. So does she want to like run a line of these from the flood of light to the crystal tower and then beam it up to the fucking moon? 
Is that what I'm gathering? The Aether Transmitter shall guide the energy under the 13th, like so. You know, in hindsight, it's kind of amazing that we haven't come up with this idea yet. Also, that's really cool. In this way, we shall have a Lance of Light, which to pierce the Shield of Darkness. Cool. I'm curious to see logistically what they're going to do. <laughs> or so I hope. No tests we perform are close to the scale of what we ultimately seek to achieve. I cannot guarantee success. Yeah, I can't see us bringing too much Aether through these, if I'm being honest. It would hardly be the first time we played it by ear. <laughs> True enough, but that's not a point of pride for me personally. You know, like I always say, you stole a fuck it, we ball. <laughs> Science and theory aside, we need to place one or more of these transmitters in the first, I take it. Oh yeah, plenty. A task we may entrust to you, Anuccio. Rest assured, I will provide you with what support I can. I wish to go as well. Oh, okay. You're not gonna like how fucking hot it is in Amarang. This world that you brought back from the brink, I would see it with my own eyes. But how dost thou intend to make the journey? In a spirit vessel. That's what you and yours managed, yes? You want to just take a spirit vessel? That's scary. Point set summoning also seems to seize the soul separated from flesh. This separation I can do at will. The principles are similar enough. Oh, I guess. Do we have a, a vessel for her though? If you aren't adverse to traveling with company, I should be glad to lend Zero my vessel. Oh, so we're going to have Zero inside Ishtola? Uh, does that work? <laughs> Can we just do that? Okay. Then it's settled. I shall finish preparing transmitters and then help Zero transfer her soul. Pray see to your own preparations, then let us reconvene at Megaduda. Okay. Estinian, like, this bitch ain't got no pants on. SMH, bruh. Oh, wait, they added a new thing. I heard if you leave your cursor on the screen and you don't touch it for five seconds, it goes away. Does it go away in these cutscenes? It does! Best change. Apologies for the wait. Everything went smoothly. Zero's soul is now safely within the spirit vessel. I shall have the alchemist attend her body until she returns. The vessel I place in your care, along with the transmitters and a set of garments for Zero. I've also included instructions on how to operate the crystal tower, courtesy of Grahatia. <laughs> Hands me a sticky note. <laughs> er, you want me to fucking control the crystal tower? While you're away, I shall j I'll join Urianje and the Loports on the moon. They need help uh, should the brands fail. Yes, they do. A fine idea. For my part, I shall continue to coordinate our efforts while I recover from my wounds. Oh yeah, I forgot Varshan kind of got fucked up. Given the task at hand, I suggest you speak with Rain. With her power over the light, she is bound to be helpful in our efforts. But ere we do that, or aught else, seek out Beck Lug. As the first foremost authority on Soulcraft, they should be able to grant Zero a corporeal form. As I recall, the old new Mu was rather fond of the, uh, the Cabinet of Curiosities, so that should be your first stop. You know, when Yustola said you can just take my vessel, for whatever reason, I thought there was going to be like a dummy Yishtola, like a like a body, like a mammoth body that we were going to put zero soul into. But now I realize <laughs> they were just talking about the crystal soul vessel, the little fucking aether thing. <laughs> I really wanted to see zero's voice coming out of Yishtola. That would have been funny as hell. <laughs> That's all for me. Go forth, warrior of darkness, and make your triumphant return to the first. Oh! When's the last time we, in the story, went back to the first? Like, actually. It was like, end of 6.0? Yeah, so it's been, a, it's been a minute, hasn't it? Let's go, I guess. Hello, you fucking dog thing. Is that you, Aduccio? What brings you back across the rift? Honestly, first you ask me to extract a soul from a spirit vessel, and then you tell me you have designs to channel light to another reflection? Wicked white, Anuccio. Is nothing ever simple with you? <sighs> I suppose some people can't help but find themselves at the center of world-changing events. Very well. If your home is in peril, then I should do all in my power to aid you. While I tend to your companion, you should go and speak with Reen. By all accounts, she practically lives at the Hortorium these days. I will look for you there once I've finished. It's this place with the fish, right? I remember there being a really annoying big fish to catch in this water here. Hello, then. Rain, are you in here? <laughs> Why are there so many fucking people here? Hey, girl, hey. Restoring the elements to the empty may allow life to flourish there once more. Uh, we, we did that already, didn't we? Wasn't that the point of the <laughs> Eden raids? But that isn't enough to return the environment to the way it was. No, we need to gradually reintroduce life, beginning with plants. I, I swear there were plants there, but I... If you're just trying to help kickstart it, I guess, and you know, it doesn't hurt. Not just any plants, though, but those that won't be a burden on a weakened land. Yeah, wasn't this the point of Eden? Exactly, right? Like, we finished, and then, like, whoosh, the big pride crystal went up. Such and Then there's plants and water. How about coffee plants? Coffee does sound good. Coffee? If I recall correctly, 
It thrives in warm climates with cooler nights to promote growth. Yes. Yes, that might be suitable. And with a good harvest, we could set some aside for coffee biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> she knows the coffee biscuits hack. Does that still work, by the way? Do people still do that? Do you guys remember when people would make like fucking a million coffee biscuits for that guild leave? And then just make a shit little gill? Hey. Mia, stop. Wait, it's you. You guys hear her coughing up a hairball back here? <laughs> We're in the middle of story. Knock it off. You have a whole house you could do this in. You do it right next to the mic. Are you serious? You done? Cats, man. Hello. It seems you caught me rambling to stop. myself. Stop. <laughs> How embarrassing. I've been studying botany, you see. Hoping that the knowledge would help our work in the empty. It's a good idea. It's a very good idea. But never mind that for now. What brings you to the Crystarium? It was my understanding that the final days were behind us. Well, do I have some shit to tell you? She's like, oh, no. <laughs> you wish to combat this otherworldly threat with the power of light? Yep. Please, let me help. That's the idea. Yep. Though I've lost my connection to Hydaelyn, I can still manipulate light to a degree. That's good. If there is a chance I could save others with that power, then I have to try. Tis done. Zero is now with us in the flesh. Nice. That was fast and really the accurate. Spirit vessel I shall hold on to for operating the tower. Wait a minute. I'm going to need that. This will help me to make sense of the controls, will it? There's a levity in his words that wasn't there before. It heartens me to know he is well. Aww. <laughs> That's I shall cute. To the preparations as per his instructions. My thanks for your help. You'll think nothing of it. That said, it is customary that my kind receive fitting payment for services rendered. No, oh, don't fucking listen to her, man. Not unlike we void sent then. In that case, you may devour some of my ether. Uh. <laughs> Are you mad? I'll do no such thing. The what? suggestion is absurd. <laughs> okay, takes a bite out of your thigh. Now, now, let's calm down. We all have our preferences. Oh, Rin. I'm sure no offense was intended. You're so patient. <laughs> I shall attend to the tower now. The rest. I leave to you. Zero, was it? My name is Reen. It's a pleasure to meet you. Nods. This world isn't what I expected. While light is indeed strong here, it's not pervasive or overwhelming. Well... Everything looks much as it does in the source. <laughs> that might be a bit of a sore subject, Zero. <laughs> uh, you ever heard of a flood of light? <laughs> we should go outside. We have the warrior of darkness to thank for that. Yeah, I hope, if literally. If you're interested, I would be glad to show you around. Oh, the song. Can I turn my BGM up in here? Damn. To Amaro. You know, I saw some people speculating on where Zero was in the Dawn Trail trailer. <clears throat> Wonder if she stays in the first. That's something I didn't consider till just now. Just an ordinary sky. Ordinary and beautiful. Well, it wasn't always like that. <laughs> to think that after so much loss, they could reclaim this. Ooh, growing light been loving these cinematic tile drops they've been doing <laughs> i've heard something of your deeds here 
of how the warrior of darkness fought on, despite light, light ravaging her very being. Had I the self-same strength of spirit, perhaps I could have done more for my world. No, it isn't over yet. The 13th isn't beyond saving. That's why we're here. So where to? Just lead the way. Reen is eagle, eager. <laughs> Reen is eagle. Squaw! Reen is eager to help you set your plans in motion. Let's head for Nabatha Ring. Since Zero can't teleport to the 8th right there, we should probably travel by tomorrow. <gasps> Lena! Ah, there you are. Thank goodness I'm not too late. Lena! I take it back Lug told you why she's here. More or less. Greetings and welcome. I am Lena, captain of the guard here at the Crystarium. Zero, is there something you require? Stop being fucking weird, Zero. When I learned of your plan to gather light at the Crystal Tower, I felt compelled to warn you of the potential repercussions. I know well that you would never use the tower for ill, nor without due caution, even so. I believe I understand. Ever since the flood, light has been the source of pain and misery. Some fear it still, no doubt. Which is to say that some would be uncomfortable at the sight of it wielded as, as we intend. This is your concern, is it not? Precisely. It was light that nearly consumed our world. To use the Crystal Tower to harness this destructive force risks turning the tower into an object of fear. You may convince the Crystarium of the necessity of your cause, but it will not be so easy to win over those outside our walls. I worry this will undermine our fragile trust that we have only begun to build with some communities. They may misunderstand your intentions. That's true. I never even thought of that. But I think people in the first would probably shit themselves if they thought if they saw a giant beam of light coming out of the crystal tower. Tell me who they are and what misunderstandings they may have. I shall allay their concerns. Nucci and I will go with her. People know us. Our presence will put them at ease. Thank you. I realize this will delay the execution of your plans, but I see no other way. Nah, that's a good shout. Probably should have thought of that in the first place. Oops. As for where to begin, I dare say Yulmor would be as good as place as any. Though ours is an amicable amicable relationship we were at odds for long years yulmor was once ruled by a tyrant who wielded the power of light though he promised salvation in truth he made slaves of his subjects and sought to destroy any who defied him he's gone now thankfully and a good man named chai nuz was elected mayor relations between our cities have improved much since then even so there's a lingering rivalry between us if the Crystarium were to harness light without warning some yulmorans might suspect we have ulterior motives thus would it be prudent to give them prior notice? If you explain that you seek to save the Warrior of Darkness's home, though, I should hope that they would give you their blessing. Yeah, we're about to go on a Shadowbringers road trip. Once again, yours is a name that commands respect, and I trust in the domain of your former enemies, as it does in Garlemald. After Yulmor, I would suggest the Raktika Greatwood. There you will find the Knights Blessed, a small collective which worships darkness, as well as V's, guardians of the secrets of ancient Ronka. The V's are insular and will like likely not object unless light encroaches upon their territory. The Knights Blessed, on the other hand, would greatly benefit from your assurances that your actions will not adversely affect their lives. People who worship darkness, fitting for a world all but consumed by light. Very well. We will treat uh, with the people of Yulmor and the Knights Blessed. Here, take these whisper weeds. I will let you know when all is in readiness with the tower. Sorry, whisper what? We smoking that good shit? Thanks, Lena. Right then. I should tend to my own tasks, explaining the situation to the people of the Crystarium and arranging for your transmitters to be placed here in Nabatharang. We're truly grateful. Thank you, Lena. God, I, <laughs> I sure hope Lena doesn't hit the whip right now. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Come, let's head to Yulmore. Hopefully China knows uh, how best to present our plan to everyone. <laughs> the Crystarium salute has always made me laugh. Hello, Mr. China's. Good gods, if it isn't a new trio. To what do we owe the pleasure? Not another world-ending threat. Surely not. <laughs> Surely not. <laughs> uh, hey, buddy. <laughs> I've got some bad fucking news for you. We're planning a grand undertaking that may be of concern to the people you more. There's a sensitive matter which we thought would be best to consult the chief's esteemed mayor. Yeah. I thought I'd never describe myself as such, but anyway, I can tell you're up to something. The kind of something I might want nothing to do with, but regardless, I should probably know. What is it? So they took Zodiac's body. <laughs> more like Zodiac's aether. Yeah, same shit. Gathering light with the Crystal Tower, you say? I'd be lying if I said it doesn't bring back unpleasant memories, and I believe I speak for most Yomorans. We can hardly blame you. We have no reason to question your motives, of course. Neither yours nor those of the Crystarium's leadership. A world engulfed in darkness. Its corrupted inhabitants in attempting to invade your own. It's rather a lot to process, but the desire to save one's home is something anyone can understand. I'm touched that you show concern for our feelings despite the gravity of your plight. Very well, you have my support. As if there was any uh, ever any doubt. Right. <clears throat> Let's gather people at once. An explanation from you ought to ensure everyone understands. Not so fast, dearest. If I were to reveal everything at this juncture, many would be deeply unsettled, regardless of any assurances I offered. No, we need to first set the stage, spread word of the warrior of darkness's plight. 
that she is on a mission to save her world as she did once ours once the tale is common knowledge i shall i shall call an assembly and explain the need to harness power of light to a populace far more amen amenable to the idea to that end, might I trouble you to speak with our citizens about your predicament? It would be more effective to hear the details from the hero herself, more likely to inspire solidarity for your cause. So we appeal to the desire to aid the warrior of darkness and present light in a more positive light. Well played, Master Chai. Dude's kind of smart. He should be mayor or something. If it's best that you do the talking, then we'll come with you. Fine by me, I'm content to observe. She's definitely gonna butt in and say some weird shit. I'm positive. Once you have finished your rounds, I ask that you report to me. I should like to know how the people react. All right, time to go talk to three unsuspecting citizens and then come back to China's. Yeah, yeah, we've all done this quest before. Here we go. Speak with the citizens of Yulmore. From that conversation alone, I could see how much the people here trust you. Thanks to Yulis and Thancred, I've grown better at recognizing it. What, you've met Thancred too? I mean, uh, right, of course you have. I don't know why I said that. It's because you miss him. I should have brought him. Right, let's find some citizens to speak with. I suggest we start here in the canopy before heading down to the understory and then the derelicts. Speak to three Yomoran citizens. Ha 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 ha. Come, come, Zero, come. We're gonna take you to the fucking club. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, you see that? <laughs> you like the look of that, Zero? I used to live for the moment, not caring what might happen on the morrow. But now that we have peace, I find myself thinking about the future and feeling anxious. What, your home is threatened with destruction? Wicked white, why are you wasting time in a drinking hole? Ugh, but as I say it, I feel the sting of hypocrisy. Gods, I need to take control of my life. I need to face my troubles head on. And the same goes for you. Well now, the warrior of darkness and the oracle of light both. How may I be of service? Your enemies plot to invade your world? Having heard tales of sin eaters ravaging countless villages, your plight feels all too familiar. Come what may, I urge you to remain strong. You overcame the Light Wardens. You can overcome any adversity. And for what it's worth, I'm sure everyone here will be willing to help in whatever way we can. Well, that's good. You're the Warrior of Darkness. I never dreamed I'd have the honor. But why are you in Yulmore, if I may ask? Your home is in danger, and you've come seeking help. If there's anything we can do for you, you need only ask. Things could be uh, better here, of course, but we've got a long road ahead of us. But we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you and yours, and we'll never forget that. So the people are of one mind in their desire to help. Good, good. Why, just earlier I overheard a conversation about how the Warrior of Darkness is seeking to save their home. Your tale is spreading quickly. Yeah, that was really fast. Then the plan has unfolded precisely as you envisioned. All that remains, then, is to assemble the citizens and explain Anuccio's need to gather light. For better or worse, I'm mayor of this city. I'll do my best to win them over. Awesome! Wait, aren't you? I remember you! Yes, you're her, the young lady who saved me from Vothri. I'd eaten enough mule to fall under his control, but you cured me. Wouldn't be alive today if not for you. Oh, I remember you too. I'm glad to see you're doing well. I only learned later that it was the Oracle of Light herself who saved me. Saved all of us. I didn't know I'd ever get my chance to express my gratitude. I'm sure it was nothing for someone with your power, but thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. What is this meal? It was four loco in bread form. Basically poison. Food from the light of lane light tainted flesh eaters flesh of sin eaters you say i see the more they ate the more the light's consumption spread right and because of that they became susceptible to vothri's commands as he could make the sin eaters do his bidding thankfully i was able to suppress the light's influence and free everyone from his control and there seems to be no lingering effects you say that as if it were some small feat i've seen countless souls corrupted by darkness someone with the power to heal them would be regarded as a great figure and never know peace my gift has been a burden many have suffered for it died for it there were times when i wished i didn't have it when i wanted to run away from everyone and everything but i had friends to encourage and guide me to help me learn uh not just to embrace my gift but to take charge of my life to change my fate oh <gasps> fate bringer and so you did just that the people of this world are resilient indeed oh my god e11s awesome that a half scent half void scent like me managed to escape the flood of darkness for all these years i never stopped to wonder why to wonder if I had a greater part to play. Well, perhaps this time I took charge and considered what I might be able to do for others. The answer is here in the first, and I will find it. Character development and defiance of fate. Zero's cool expression cannot hide the f uh, fire in her eyes. Oh shit, the flood of darkness back there. And where to next? Slitherbo, the home of the Knights Blessed and Raktika Greatwood. We'll explain the situation to their leader, Runar. Oh, he's gonna be pissed we don't have Yishtola with us. <laughs> People are hugging him. What's up, man? He really said Cullen 3. <laughs> Inuccio, you're a sight for sore eyes, my friend. Will you be staying long in Slitherbo? Though having said that, I suspect this isn't just a social call. Oh boy. We need to speak with you as leader of the Knights Blessed. It's important. Ah, so it is more of a formal visit. That's fine. Why don't we get right to it then? 
blah, 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 blah. What? Your world? Master Matoya's world is in grave danger? <laughs> he said, say less. Master Matoya? Nishtola. She took another name in accordance with custom when she lived among the Knights Blessed. They believe light taints everything it touches, even their true names. Out of respect, don't speak hers here. You are Zero, yes? The one come from a world consumed by darkness. I struggle to conceive of such a place. A pitch black pall shrouds the sky, which neither the light nor the, s or the sun nor the stars can pierce. It is opposite of what you once knew here in Novern. That being the case, I'm sure you can relate to our situation. All too well. You have my deepest sympathies. In order to beat back the darkness in your world, you would harness light from ours. Tis a simple yet brilliant idea. Only Master Matoya could have conceived as such. That Novern is still in her thoughts. That we are still. So you're not opposed to our plan? We knights blessed may place our faith in dark, but we have never sought to force our beliefs upon others. If your deliverance lies in light, then by all means avail yourselves of it. I'm surprised. From what I was told of your people, I was certain you would disapprove of our methods. Do not mistake our reverence for darkness as a desire for it to be ascendant. Rather, in darkness there is peace that we seek to make uh, our own through prayer and self-reflection. -reflec and while light may have wrought suffering in our world, anything in excess can be harmful, even darkness, as you and yours know all too well. It is the wielder who is righteous or evil, not the weapon. If you would wield light for a noble cause, then who are we to deny you? Man, you're smart, Runar. An easy thing for me to say now that night has been restored to our world, perhaps. Nevertheless, I wish you the best in your fight, Zero. May light shine your way in the darkness. She's mind blown right now. <laughs> now then, to mark this joyous occasion, I must offer you a proper welcome to Slitherbow. Right, let us begin with the customary greeting. Daps you up. <laughs> Anucho, I trust you remember how to announce yourself as a friend of the blessed? Uh, with the chat in say mode, say Alan Tuda. Okay. Everybody out here is saying Alan Tuda right now. <laughs> Friends, old and new, I bid you welcome to Slitherbow. Alan Tuda, what does it mean? In the language of Ronka, it is one of several ways one might say good evening. This greeting allows us to quickly discern friend from foe. A simple expression, but in a world bereft of night, the words held deep meaning. They were a reminder of the world as it was, when the sun and moon and the stars yet danced across the sky, and we wished one another well as the day gave way to night. A communal tradition. So the words served to bind us. Indeed, we are no longer strangers, you and I. Next, we shall have you cleansed of light's impurities. Present yourself to Davith in yonder room. He will be glad to assist you. There you are. Your friend has just been cleansed. How do you feel? Wet, but otherwise no different. Ha ha ha. I would have been surprised if you'd said otherwise. Even so, it is customary to cleanse ourselves of light with water blessed by our priests. But you have darkness again. Do you not? Why continue the custom? Why? For the same reason that it was conceived. To pray for the safety of friends and visitors alike. As we pray for yours this eve. Safe travels, friend, and may blessed shadow keep you. I've undertaken the ritual. And while I can't explain it, I feel more confident than I did before. Just a touch. I'm glad to hear it. With the warrior of darkness at your side, I have no doubt that you will save your two worlds. If we can defeat Zeromus, then I, the source, should be safe. But nothing would change for my own world. There would just be one less void sent to struggle over scraps with the rest. Is that so? Forgive me, I spoke out of turn. It's fine. I was under no illusion. I wish it were different, of course. The Whisper Weed. Inuchio, can you hear me? Have you met with the people of Yumor and Raktika? Yup! Excellent. Then we may, we may proceed to the next uh, phase of plan without worry. Beck Lug has informed me that the tower is ready, so make for Nabath the Rang at le your leisure. Okay. I've arranged for you to rendezvous with uh, Kassard and Route as well. He'll be in Twine uh, on business shortly, so I've asked for him to wait for you there. Oh, not fucking Twine, bro. It's all coming together. To Twine, then. Your timing couldn't be better, Inuchio. I've just finished up my business here. Lena has told me all. It would be my pleasure to take you to Nabatharang. Awkwardly stares at you. <laughs> as soon as the others, other helpers have arrived, that is. They're supposed to be along any moment now. Minuccio, it really is you. We understand you are faced with quite a predicament. And when an esteemed customer is in need, the merchants of Mord Suk are eager to provide. The captain bade us assist you, miss, to ensure that light is delivered upon the Crystarium. Members of our guard will place transmitters in Lakeland, and the good people of Mordsuk will do otherwise in the Hills of Amber. You need but focus on your own task in Nabatharang. Oh, cool. Yet more people clamoring to help you. It'd almost be more surprising if they hadn't showed up. If everyone is ready, then let's get to work. Wait! Ah, forgettable trio from the Twine section of Shadowbringers. You're heading Nab Nabatharang and didn't think to call on us? While most of our Talus are still in a sorry state, we spared no effort in maintaining the trolley. We've even upgraded it as a matter of fact. It's faster than ever and can deliver you to Nabatharang in no time at all. I'm not gonna lie. 
I have not met a single person who was like, yeah, I read everything in the twine section of Shadowbringers. You get about to the point where you go into the cave and then you're just like, fuck this section, man. <laughs> you just start skipping everything. <laughs> After everything you've done for us, we can't just stand idly by. Thankard would never let us hear the end of it. Thank you. Thank you all so much. Let's do it. I dare say we have ample help. Come, let's go and acquire our light. Zero's gonna be like, holy shit. <laughs> so this is the flood of light. Yep, that's it. I don't remember much of the time when darkness consumed the 13th. Just the cold and the emptiness. Zero? Are you all right? I... I'm fine. You're the one who stopped this. Oh, no, no. That was the first Oracle of Light, Minfilia. She's since left us, but I inherited her power and legacy. I see. Let's get started then, shall we? Yup. I really doubt that these are going to be strong enough to just, like, hold this much light, you know? The other transmitters are set. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. It's so funny how my character holds her horn, bro. <laughs> it actually looks like she's holding it for the whispering. <laughs> this is a Nuccio. It's like a cell phone. That's the true, that's the true lore. It's not a real horn, guys. It's just it's my link shell. <laughs> Oh, shit. Shit, we doing some Garden of Salvation? Fucking hate this mechanic. <laughs> it's almost too much for one steeped in darkness like me. <gasps> uh. Whatever may have happened in the past, you're still here, Zero. Alive. What you couldn't do yesterday, you might still do today. If... This power were mine to wield. Oh shit. Zero light arc? Also, you probably don't want to take in that much at once, dog. Not to darkness. Not to light. Um Anyways, succumbs. <laughs> Me watching that, like, what the fuck? <laughs> what are you doing? She's taken light into herself. Yeah, I'm not really sure why the fuck she just did that. Her body struggles to contain it. She needs help. Did did we not just go to Yulmore and learn about Meal <laughs> and what happens when you have too much light in you? Better now, I think. Then you're very, very lucky. Whatever possessed you to do that? I had to know if I could command the light. If I could change my fate. Once, I would never have dared to dream it. But your friendship and your trust has helped me to see new possibilities in myself and everything else. Good. Perhaps that's why. When I beheld this world once damned yet saved, I saw the potential for mine to be saved as well. Mm hmm. It's possible. To become a world where light and darkness are in harmony and life flourishes. A world where we're not consumed by insatiable hunger, but filled with hope for what we might create <laughs> together. Insert gif of Danny DeVito doing the I get it now face, <laughs> but it's zero instead. <laughs> If I had the strength, perhaps I could make such a dream reality. Perhaps I could awaken us from this endless nightmare. That's what possessed me. If that's your heartfelt desire, then you mustn't be afraid to share it. There was a time when I lacked the courage. To voice my desires was to burden those I love. Or so I convinced myself. But then I met those who believed in me. They helped me to believe in myself and find the strength to live. And so long as I'm alive, I know that I'll be fine. No matter how dire things seem, no matter where I am. 
To be able to think that brought me peace. And it's a blessing I owe entirely to my friends. Friendship! Those who believe in us. I will remember your words. I know all too well that there's a limit to what we can achieve alone. As a friend, I'd like to help you fulfill your dream. If you wish to take in more light, I can keep the power in check and help your body accept it. Yeah, if anyone can do it, it'd be Reen. With the power of light and dark, you'll be unstoppable. I certainly hope so. What do you mean by that? Right then. I'm counting on you. Oh, so you're just going to go straight for it, huh? Here I go. Please don't turn into a light wooden. She's attuning! She's doing it! <gasps> Did she do it? I can feel it. The light's warmth welling within me. Then I believe it worked. Cool. Well, that was easy. With this power, I will return to the void and fight for the world that once was and for those I hold dear. Nice. Good for you. We've done our part, and I trust that the others will see the light to our destination. It's time we return to the source. I shall seek out Beck Log and have them return my soul to the spirit vessel. Well, I suppose this is it. I don't know if you had any other preparations to attend to or people to visit, but I'll go ahead to the ocular. I'm so glad they made her character work. She was too edgy at the start. Agree. I think they're a little inconsistent on how they handle her character progression, but like it's getting to the point where she's not insufferable to be around now. She has these weird spikes of like being really fucking annoying and like also being a really good character. And it's, it's really just throwing me for a loop. She's seeming to even out more and more as the patches go on. That's a new icon. It's gonna move you to a different area, I guess. The tower stands ready to send light into the rift, and Zero's soul is secure in her vessel once more. Our helpers across the realm have also sent word that the transmitters are in place. Once the others have set, uh, have been set on the moon of Zero's world, we should have the foundation for our ethereal current. To make matters easier, the transmitters broadcast a powerful signal that can be detected by the tower even from across the rift. Upon confirming that the void ones are active, we will send forth the light. The rest will be up to you. We'll be praying for your success. Now go, make haste back to the source and save your worlds. Okay. Bye guys. See you soon. Nuccio, thank heavens you've returned. The low ports report that the brands are on the verge of failing. Oh, we have no time to spare. Oh fuck. I shall restore zero to our body at once. Got back just in time. Ah, oh, that's better. I was worried that the soul transference might, uh, process might affect the light I absorbed, but it feels as potent as before. Well, that's good. The radiance of your soul was impossibly blinding. I don't know how you would have managed without Rain's help. While Rain helped me contain the light, it was you, all of you, who gave me the courage to make, uh, to even make the attempt. Your friendship, your acceptance. That includes the people of the first, the Knights Blessed in particular, showed me great kindness, as did Runar, whose only regret seemed to be that you could not join us. <laughs> Aww. A regret we share. Ours is a reunion long overdue. If all is in readiness, then I will assume my dragon form and fly to the moon. In the meantime, pray make your own way to the drowning brand, there, uh, we shall reconvene before sallying forth uh, once more into the void. Shit, it's about to get spicy, y'all. Time to take the fight to the enemy, is it? The darkness has been utterly relentless, gnawing at the seal like I might an iron carrot. Strike fast and hard, because you won't get any other chance. As a precaution, we further enhance the combat supporters. You don't need to worry about us while you're away. I shall maintain my vigil over the brands. Pray see thou art ready to depart as soon as Retra and the others have assembled. May the light shine the way to victory and deliver you all safely home. Dungeon time? We back, bitch. Wait, did we remember to hook up the light? Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, Monka. Here we are again, dude. The dark pall over the crater has grown thicker, and on the other side lies Golbez's domain. He'll have altered the terrain to hinder us. I don't sense his presence, but I wager he is in the crater. It would be ideal if he were here. I shall hurry and place the transmitters. Once they are activated, our cross-rift ethereal current will be established, and light will flow freely from the first, in theory at least. It will work. It must. I sure fucking hope it does, dude. If not, we're, uh, <laughs> it's gonna be bad. All is in readiness. Without further ado, then. Light from beyond the rift. Shine forth and banish the darkness. Excellent. 
The tower is replete with light from the Bath Arang. Commencing transmission. Please work. <laughs> Please work. That looks good. Maybe. Okay. It works. It works. Light is flowing into the void. Well, shit. Did you mean to hit the planet though, or the fucking moon? <laughs> May this light illuminate your way. I hope that's not entirely accurate what we're looking at right now. You can do it, Zero. I believe in you. <laughs> there aren't a whole lot of shards left, huh? <laughs> I didn't know it was gonna work this well. What the hell? Sheesh! Void hole. Look, an opening. It worked. Let us waste no time and sally forth. Yes, ma'am. I fear the breach may be too narrow for you, Vritra. I prepared my simulacrum for such an eventuality. Aw, shit. Vritra paladin moment. I'm hoping my this is the dungeon. Stand guard here while we explore the castle. It is faint. But I sense the presence of a dragon. No doubt my sister's essence trapped within Zeromus. Wait, is she okay still? Not where she was held captive before, but somewhere much deeper. I remember her getting fucked up in the last patch, dude. I hope she's good. The descent will not be so easy this time. The chasm swarms with void scent. However they came to be, we shall cut a path through them. Is everyone ready? Yeah, I know Aether can't be destroyed in the 13th, Zero. but it can definitely be transferred via consuming it. That's kind of like how it works on the 13th with the void, right? So do you not remember Golbez fucking <laughs> turning her into a sword? <laughs> Let's hope we can uh, reverse that process. She's like, ah, snowflake. That light should shine in the void once more. Yeah, she's hooked on that good shit. No single one of us could have made it so. Only by joining hands were we able to kindle this light. Do you see, Golbez? We needn't damn others to save ourselves. You knew this once, surely. When you tried to befriend me. When you were one of the precious few left willing to trust in another. But that man is gone. And in his place, a mockery of his beliefs. <gasps> It's the same as before. Though we walk different paths, we seek the same destination. And yet, there is something I must know. A truth that lies waiting in the dark. Well, let's get in there, bestie. Growing light and all that. Down in the dark. Rest assured, I will not let my emotions overwhelm me. When the moment comes, I will call to my sister and I will wrest her free from Zeromus. The crater awaits. Woe betide any who bar our path. That's what I'm saying, Varshan. Let's go. Boom. Yeah, I knew it. So, my dungeon hello ready. Me too. Same. I'm waiting for V, because we were, us four were here first. <laughs> yep, yeah. I'm going no, with the fine. trust. I'll see you all later. All right, have fun. Buckle <laughs> <laughs> thugging out, walking into that hole. <laughs> I got oh. this shit. <laughs> now I gotta, oh, I gotta pick DPS. This is awful. Oh, fuck. Uh, oh, shit. Carrie, you wanna, you wanna heal? I can take this. Yeah. And we'll let them DPS. Hi, you ready? Hi. Are you at the dungeon? I'm ready. All right, yep. let's go. I haven't played this game in like two months. Great. Same. Well, it's okay. I'm on Warrior, so you don't even have to heal me. Damn, it's kind of dark in here. It looks like a fucking deep dungeon, bro. This shit like dark and darker. This is what I wanted the newest deep dungeon I look to like look that. like. Look at the Very little light. guys. <laughs> I hope that's the minion. That looks like Bubble. Damn, we look hard. <laughs> Why are you doing like that? I'm hard as fuck right now, bro. <laughs> They're cute. All right, y'all ready? I'm my shit right now. Yo. Yeah. Oh, none of us nice portraited too? Look at us. I know. The cannon party right now. It's it. Oh, it's been a while. Oh, it's been a while. Oh, really? I'm killing myself. Yo, oh, it's fucking that Mike Wazowski, dude. That's me. Mike, Mike Wazowski. <laughs> Just build into the bio blast. It's okay. Just 
You know, get getting getting back in saddle, you know? <laughs> Ferris, you have nothing to worry about. I for real run dungeons with people that just stand there the whole time. They don't oh, press yeah. a single fucking button. You good, bro. <laughs> this dungeon content is like the casual of casual content, yeah. bro. True. We'll I was just scared because like it's new. I've never done like a new dungeon, so I didn't know if it was Yeah, like, well it's it's, it's the same. <laughs> okay. It's fine. It's totally fine. Ball! Wait! You're round! Yay! Wait, fun! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Wait, there's lie. toys! I'm not really impressed with the visuals of this so far. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, you don't like rock. And <laughs> rock. <laughs> and oh, look Dude. at this! Rectangle. <laughs> Rocks. Guys, it kind of reminds me of basalt in here. <laughs> rock, so just win. rock freaks in chat like it's not basalt <laughs> no, it's not it's not um a hexagon so it's not it's formed like it oh wait oh the bugles the rock freak got it i am <laughs> it's actually limestone somebody stop that motherfucker <laughs> get him <laughs> yeah this really looks like a deep dungeon also these mobs are fucking huge dude i can't They're see kind of big yeah i can't see what the fuck i'm Guys, doing are you in there <laughs> mike was asking no. looking between thick meaty monster thighs <laughs> All right, let's go. Hopefully to another area that looks like basalt. Whoa. Oh my Whoa. god! Basalt! Dude! Moon monkey! Dark uh, elf. It's a dark elf. Yeah. Look at him, bro. and bling. All right, notice the floor patterns. Surely oh, there will be AoEs we have to dodge. Okay. Um, There's two of them. Oh, ah. okay. Those are plus signs. Each plus. Of them. Interesting. AC peasy. Lemon squeezy. Let's see if I can remember. Uh, oh. Uh, stand on uh, square? It's doing... So, stand on square. Yeah. Easy. Oh, this baby. This baby. Babies. It's gonna do both at once. <laughs> Plus... Yep, yeah, there it goes. Okay. <laughs> How much money I get hit by this? <laughs> um... He sucked them. He sucked them. And they went away. Hmm. Oh, I think he's gonna still do that. Oh... Okay. Is he gonna... No? What? Yeah, I do it. Okay. There it is. So okay. he like he saved it for later. Hit him. Put that shit in the fridge. Oh, Skelly, hi, buddy. Okay, all right. You're just a hi, Skelly. Oh, okay. Skelly. Hi, Skelly. Skelly. You're like patch day, father. Oh. All right, this is a safe spot right here. I bet you we can all spread on this same square. Do it. Uh, ain't oh, no wait. way, my boy. Oh wait, fuck! It was a oh gun. shit. Oh god! I was waiting really to get it. Help! Help me! <laughs> I'll save you, bro. Tactician. Yep, I remember that one from the Bible. <laughs> what? <laughs> when Jesus tactician the 12 merry men or whatever. What is this debuff I have? Oh, if you get hit by too many things, it gives you doom. Okay. Man, slap this fucking guy. I'm gonna wind this one up. Watch this. Watch this. Damn! <laughs> Fuck that mechanic. Bitch. We don't do that. Right. Oh, I, wonder, I actually haven't looked at the patch stuff at all. I don't know what the gear is. This gear is going to be bis for top. So unless you guys want it, give me. <laughs> uh, I mean, if it looks nice, I'm taking it. I ain't glamming none of that. I don't know what it looks like. Oh, it's whoa. like, I, I think it's I saw like a, a picture it's like of it. a whole ass thing down here. You just, you no, find the discarded like memoria that. crystal. Oh, my empathy. So Wait, are we was... going? We're going into <gasps> someone's memory. Wait. Oh, no. It's Gobez. So we're in his memory right now? Cool. Wait, I look like this. Look. Wait, wait, wait. The hobgoblins? Wait, you do. I do! <laughs> Dude, this reminds me of Final Fantasy IV so fucking much. Wait, true. Holy. Run for your fucking life! Marble! <laughs> Marble! What's up? I'm a Marble. Oh my god, Lord look at how And Lord Durante, too. Is that Golbez over there? Wait! Oh, oh we're Golbez! Oh, right. Oh, you're yelling we're in his head right now. Yeah. I'm oh, him. Awesome. I'm literally him. I'm literally him. Wait, so that was his discarded memoria crystal in there. Why was it just on the fucking floor in there? And I like big pull this and go here. We're just going to the void scent loss and found like, um, I found this on the floor. Memoria of darkness. Uh. It's a person that's fighting with the fucking frenzied animals. For king and country! FF4 fans eating good. Wait, this track. Damn! Some dude on the burning rooftop right now so with a fucking this, guitar. Shredder. This was the 13th before the darkness took over. This is fucking cool. I pull this. There's a behemoth in this bitch! Yo, what's up? I'm a behemoth, 22 years old, fresh out of college. 
<laughs> I got a lot of, uh, you know, tormenting to do. Charybdis! Look out! It's a tornado! Sick. What the fucking crab? <gasps> yes! Oh, it's like an ant. That's my ass. All right, let's go. An ant? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this thing's fucking ugly! Uh, yeah, I'm glad it's not looking at yeah, me. Yeah, I have to fucking stare at it! Yeah, good luck. <laughs> yeah, you make sure you pull that bitch really hard, bro. Like, stupid hard. Land slip. Oh. Knockbacks? How far is this gonna send us? Guys, I get hit by these. <laughs> oh! Wait, oh. I dodged it. Did I have a shield? Oh, I'm in inner release. Okay. I forgot. <laughs> oh, this uh, is just like Cognazzo? that Scare Malone copy. Yeah. I think this is the safe spot I'm standing on. I'm chilling. Mine I didn't is. have to move, bro. Oh. oh, I found a fucking the spot. You can arms link this, by the way. Perhaps I shall. I don't give a damn. Oh, oh, oh I didn't notice <laughs> the pillars was... on the side were falling. What the hell? Oh, get out of that. Oh! <laughs> I back flipped out of it. <laughs> Must be nice. That yeah. seems like a raid wave. We have the stone. The stone pillars have health bars. I just noticed. Probably the. It's probably the spot again. When I'm they're gonna. On. Yep, right here. Is safe. I'm safe right here. Yeah. Oh, he's hitting the yeah. pillars. Look. Oh. And now some of them are what dusty. So be uh... in the middle. Be in the middle when this ends. Oh, what? Oh. Ah, fuck! Oh, God damn it! Oh, damn. Damn. Hope you got stuff for this. Skull's fucking dead. <laughs> oh, I killed oh, him. Please, please. All right, he's going to hit more of the towers. <laughs> Sir. Oh, sorry, <laughs> second <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that fucking bro, Gordon, Gordon Freeman would not have had to put up with this. All right, so you want to be uh, on the, the very end, either on top of him or on the opposite side. Damn, that was fun. That was fun. Original Hellhound. It's the OG. What's up? I'm the original Hellhound. <laughs> Recorded four studio, al studio albums and, uh, you know, said fuck it. Oh, I need that maiming circlet for sure. Raiders when they see a circlet. <laughs> well, this is best, bruh. I need this shit. I'm gonna have to do this dungeon a million fucking times this week. <laughs> Hope you like it, bro. <laughs> Enjoy the basalt. <laughs> the fucking basalt, bro. Whose castle is this, bruh? It's mine. mine. Oh. Um, no. um, that's awkward. <laughs> what do you mean? Trouble? You live together. <laughs> oh, right. Oh. Me and my Roommates. little brother, Boos. <laughs> yeah. The original gargoyle. My fault, original gargoyle. My fault, original gargoyle. I got two. Oh, they're tur are they going to turn people into... Oh, for sure. Oh, my God. I thought he was pulling the friendlies. <laughs> Wait, they're hot, though. A little bit, yeah. A little bit. Look yeah. at them. No, I'm fucking with the vision. I have to apologize, V. I didn't quite understand your game. They like my pathetic Riz. <laughs> she liked me because I'm pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin James first. <laughs> Baby, you my everything. You all I ever want. I <laughs> this is the last boss. Oh, these are two normal guys who aren't going to turn into Void soon. Oh. Hey, fellas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Oh. Cool. cool. Yeah. That was cool. Golbez is fine ass. He's so sexy, man. That's my type, bro. Uh, no. And this is when Durante stole his armor and called himself Golbez. Right, right. Because he's probably gonna have to defeat him. This can't be happening. Not to you. My friend. My hero. I will stop you even should it cost me my life. Oh. Damn. What the? Cool. Very cool. Fucking awesome. My PC sounds like a jet engine right now. <laughs> Ready? Old magic. Ooh, man. It's 
raid wide. Duplicious battery. Oh, it's a spiral. Okay. Two spirals. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh. Not tight with that, huh? <laughs> Oops. I don't think we want to be near those. No, I don't think so. Yep. No, those are going to blow up. Our food keeps blowing up. All our food keeps blowing up. <laughs> He's doing the circle things again. You can dodge them all from the middle. It's going to follow you. Um. Ah! <laughs> they thought of that. <laughs> oh, care. Oh, yeah. You also have that power from God. Yep. The power of God. All right. Those are going to blow up. Our balls. Wait, maybe he's going to make them donuts instead. Oh, what uh -oh. the fuck? Oh, they're no, going they're, in directions. They're, line they're moving. Now. Yeah. Um, now stand in between them. Between them? Oh, no. Yeah. Ah! Oh, um. Oh. Yes. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> the absolute fucking fear of doing my <laughs> content in this game. <laughs> no, uh, it's you're gonna get to do the trial later, bro. It's gonna yeah. be even worse. Oh, okay. Uh, oh. So just stand on top of one, I guess. I think we're safe right here, possibly. Yeah, north should be okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he goes to the wall. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Hard slash. Don't be in front of him. My up time. Oh. Oh, I hella got it for that. What yo. the fuck? Oh. What um... the fuck? Oh! My friend. Get away from that. Oh, we don't want to be there. <laughs> Get to the wall. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Over here, over here, over here. Yep. Da -da -da -da. Um, uh. Pizza slices. Oh. I see. Durante said we were good. We got enough box tops, dude. He's getting us a pizza. Pizza! Uh, over here. Yeah, right here. On the, oh no, not over here. That was not middle here. only. <laughs> oh no. fuck. It's I okay. lived anyways, so. I can keep us alive. <laughs> oh. oh damn. Ooh. The hot bars again, was standing in the middle of an area. Awesome. <laughs> that was pretty cool. We beat the void off him. Yay. Wait, wasn't he supposed <laughs> to win though? We about to find out. Guys. Wait, how the fuck are you guys here? <laughs> <laughs> His eyes are so blue and beautiful. That's about Golbos. I was like, it's one eye and it's very purple. <laughs> Me at the fridge eating shredded cheese at 3 a.m. <laughs> I look just like Golbez. Why you and not me? You were the best of us. A paragon of virtue. I could never hope to be your equal. I am only the knight I am because of you. Because you believed in me. Damn! Wait, face reveal? <laughs> you would not wish to become a monster, preying upon those who fought to protect. But neither can I bring myself to kill you. If they don't show their face, I am inclined to believe that's the Azem shard of the 13th. So rest easy, my friend, and entrust your legacy to me. Damn. Yeah, you know, I think I think it was. And I think us being Golbez in that dungeon was uh, not just a coincidence. You will never die. This I swear. Through me, your name shall live on as the hero who saves the world. So he is Golbez? No, he's Durante, who was our friend. Or Golbez's friend. And during whatever uprising this was of the Dark Memoriates or whatever, that happened. And like he just mentioned, Durante dedicated the rest of his life to We've been released from the continuing the, the legacy of his friend Golbez. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure that Golbez was the 13th shard of Azem, which means they were like the us 
of the 13th, which as much as I hate to admit it, would make Durante the Xenos of the 13th, who we are now fighting as Golbez in current time. Oof. If Golbez was the one sealed in this memoria, it activated when we got close. Fighting is... Yep, Durante. No more than an imposter playing at hero. Durante, I presume. A name long since lost to time. History shall remember only Golbez. Come what may, I shall deliver the world its salvation. And I will not suffer you to interfere. You seek to free all souls from the purgatory of undeath. And to that end, you would invade another world. While I cannot condone your methods, I understand your motive full well. <gasps> Empathy moment? For I'm driven by the same. I too wish to save our world. I too once thought I had to bear the burden by myself. That I had no choice but to walk my path alone. But I was wrong. We may yet strive together towards our shared goal. If you would reconsider your course. <laughs> if you possessed power which transcended that of Zeromus, then perhaps I would. But you do not. No, you are but another Voitsant like me. And what is a candle before the sun? Perhaps we aren't all powerful and cannot effect great change in an instant. Even so. Great change is what we need. Aught less has no meaning. Having glimpsed our past, you should understand as well as any. As Golbez, I dedicated myself to ending the Contra Memoria. I fought the corrupted Memoriates and attempted to redeem those twisted by their power. Yet try as I might, I was powerless to make any meaningful change. Twas then, when I was floundering in despair, that she appeared. The Asian Igeom. It's always Asians, bro. Claiming to know how to excise the source of our woes, she showed me to the moon, where the servant of light abided. Twas he and his ilk who had granted men unnatural powers, she said, and now prolonged the war. Hmm. No, the watcher! Word, no! Him down and caused darkness to engulf the world. Why would you do that? What? Then it was you who. As Emmett Selk once told us, the 13th was the Asians' first attempt at a rejoining. Before they fully understood the mechanisms at play, mm -hmm. they failed because they sought only to awaken the Sundered Zodiac without instigating a calamity in the source. The darkness they unleashed had nowhere else to go. Having left a ruin of our world, the Asian fled. I was a fool to trust them. Yep. To trust in Trick others. by the Asians. Since that day, a tale as I old as time. The means to undo my mistake. The world may be beyond saving, but I would at least restore the great flow. The dragon was an extraordinary windfall, a veritable font of ether that expedited my endeavors time and again. But it wasn't enough to achieve my objective. Far from it, for an eternity, I had to bide my time. But the day finally came when I acquired the power I sought. I, the remnants of the Asians' god sealed within the moon, suddenly dispersed into ether. With that ether, Zeromus could be conceived, 
and driven by the dragon's longing for home, it shall soon arise to destroy the barrier between worlds. Uh... Thus will the way open to the promised land and the death we have been too long denied. Thus will I, Golbez, bring salvation to all. Well, it's funny you mentioned that, man, because we actually found a way to bring the light here. <laughs> so, you know, you don't have to do that, but, uh... So that is all you have left. Say what you will. You cannot stop Saromas' awakening. We're going after him, aren't we? Aye. That's why we came, after all. And besides... Erm, um, hi! When someone believes in you, it makes you want to believe in them. In others and yourself. Eulis was right about that. In the darkest recesses of the moon await Golbez and Zeromus. They are resolved to save their world and condemn yours. I am prepared to brave the dark! Let's go! Oh shit, we here. Hoped to bear witness to the moment our salvation is realized. But nothing must be left to chance. I will stop you here, no matter the cost. Let's go, my boy! Oh, shit! Wait, that was awesome. Wounded as I am, I knew that I would be hard pressed to fight you on equal terms. And so I lured you to this place where the advantage is mine. Don't just stand there, guys. Get him! <laughs> Oh! Well, here they are. The Archfiends live? Impossible. Scar Meliane and Babariccia were sealed in Memoria, while Cagnazzo and Rubicante died in the source. Yeah, that's what I thought. You're not wrong. They are not the true Archfiends, but shades born of their residual ether. Yeah, I figured since they didn't just say anything, they were probably like clones or some shit. If they are but shades, still. then their strength will pale in comparison. Even should they fight as one, we may yet prevail. We'll tend to the Archfiends. Go and put an end to Zeromus. You'll do no such thing. Join you as soon as we can. Swan dive. See ya. <laughs> Please tell me I just swan dive into this bitch. Yeet. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> it is too late. Zeromus will awaken, and it shall devour any who come between it and its desire. Your companion is no exception. I wouldn't be so sure. Yeah, you funny if you think the Warrior of Light's gonna fall to that, but... He doesn't fucking know. Time and again, she has faced insurmountable odds. Damn! Oh, shit, he's so cool. <laughs> but no matter how hopeless things seemed, she's never given up the fight. My fucking boy. Yeah. 
Damn. She has strength of will to forge on. Then so too shall we. For we believe in her, and she believes in us. And together, our light can pierce blackest darkness. Okay, Zero. Okay. Oh shit, she's L being, bro. She's actually L being. That's the cast animation for the end. <laughs> awesome! Oh shit, we're on the platform. That's dragon, no? Ew, dude. Must return home. What? Oh. Anyways, summons friends. I can't let you destroy the barrier between worlds. Also release Ashdaya. Now. Wait, yeah, that's definitely dragon. Ooh, banger. Oh shit. Okay. All right, I just got the unlock. <laughs> Dog, nice. the track this right sounds now. so good. I know. Dude, I know. BC, that's me. That's Zeroma's watching me right now, bro. <laughs> the cat break dancing yeah. gif. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Bro, that cutscene was kind of fucking hard. They were gassing me up. I wonder if Anubis thought the same thing I did when he read the dialogue options just now. Did anybody think of uh, Goku saying, I will not let you destroy my world? Yes. I <laughs> no, but did. now I do. I was too busy looking at the cutscene and me just oh, running past Golbez like, no. Nah. Hello. PF's up. Password Hi. is one. Oh, oh shit, you're not going Gunbreaker? Fuck oh, this. this music's fucking sick. The Abyssal Fracture. It won't let you destroy my world! Dude, I knew <laughs> you said that! I just said that! Yes. I literally just said Holy I'm... shit. <laughs> he, he said actually to us, like, right before that music, do you think Anubis is thinking about Goku screaming? <laughs> That's fucking no, funny. No, I was thinking about how none of the Saiyans uh, contested uh, Golbez's ideals and let him walk away. Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking about, I'm not, I, didn't even, I didn't even get a lick him when we were fighting him. Like, I'm not letting you get fit. past you me, think? runs past him. He's scared. <laughs> Insatiable vessel. Mm. I wish Goldbez had been like, no! Ah. Like, imagine him screaming at you, running by like that. I gotta look at V's fit. No. Can we changing outfits? Oh, that's Can we not me? pink? Fuck. Uh, nice portrait, nice portrait, nice, nice portrait, portrait, nice portrait, nice portrait. That's top's super nice cute. Portrait, nice portrait. Sure, Let's we go. gotta wash that dress of yours. What? <laughs> she has no. Stank. Listen, listen. Damn. She's like a cartoon character where she has like forty of the same dress of like in 40 her. Of them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I literally have a duplicate in my inventory right now. <laughs> okay. Look, her closet is like forty of those dresses. <laughs> I have my party making four macro. Um. Don't want to be on that side. I think. Kame. No, it's not. Oh! Right. He shoots oh, okay. it into the middle. Oh, that's oh! Doom. Full heal us. Oh. Full heal us. We have to hit full HP. More! Uh, More! Okay. Uh, this. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. <laughs> that fucking scream! That's Ari! I warned you! <laughs> I'm kinda of scared, guys. Oh, it's a multi literally that clip okay. of the guy. Oh, look at its oh, wings! The They're work. fucking no glowing reaction. now. Oh, shit. Fucking like this, that video this arena is really does. dark. Yeah, kind of. Oh, over oh, oh, here, over here, over here. That is definitely oh, not gonna have indicators in the extreme. Yeah. That that oh, rip cage fuck. attack. It's probably gonna hit you big? No? It's weak okay. as wow, fuck. Actually, it was weak as fuck. That's a normal mode. <laughs> tower? Oh. Stack tower? Oh. A stack tower. 
That hurts. Oh, get the fuck away from it. Oh! It's putting out lines. Oh, guys, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, so there there were line AoEs that were coming out of that, yeah. too. It might have been baited. Oh, oh wait. Those oh! are the things from fucking, uh, what's it called? Fucking <laughs> chasing AoEs. Dunscape. Void bio. Bio break Bro, already? I'm, we're fighting. I'm, I'm doing Me when I take a vicious shit. Uh, Dodge the bubble. Yeah, he threw one. Don't touch the bubbles. Um, um, I'm safe. <laughs> yep. Owie. What? Uh, oh, There's a oh, damn good chain to be off. off. Bro, he fell off. He walked <laughs> off. Holy Big shit. Big he's, Veg he's Vegeta. Oh, oh my. No. <laughs> Wait, this shit is going. I know. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, a million debuffs. Oh, Excel bombs. Oh, my God. What the fuck? What? What? Okay, okay so don't move. Don't move when your Excel bomb goes off. Don't move. Stop okay. moving. Okay. Stop moving. Stop but moving. But I have to... Stop moving. <laughs> no, that's when you hold. <laughs> you did stop. All right, this next debuff is a spread. So after this stack, we have to spread. Spread, 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 spread. spread. <laughs> This place looks fucking wicked. What the what? fuck? Oh, what stretch is these. This? Stretch these. Stretch these. Oh. They look like dinglings, man. I'm chilling, bro. <laughs> oh, and then you're stuck in place. Uh, Fine. Not me. Uh, <laughs> I'm chilling. <laughs> and then you get um, resistance. Okay. HP okay. penalty. Black hole. Um. Behind us. Oh. Spinning. Oh, it's okay. It. Um, I guess follow it. Oh, Whoa. that the laser's just going through. That's what that no. means. Okay. That looks sick. Oh, but it's expanding. Care! Oh, oh, sick. Oh, okay, you can walk through it. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 Fucking got me! Oh. Oh. Get in the middle! Oh, God! <laughs> it fucking one-shots you! <laughs> Don't hit the meteors. Don't hit the meteors. Don't hit the meteors. Uh, ooh, ooh. Hello. Oh, they blow up. <laughs> no way, bro. Just gnomed. Oh Another god. <laughs> if you guys care at all, the animation for getting sucked into that I is saw. really funny. It was so <laughs> fun. We <laughs> saw you, bro. No, the screen, the screen effect too. Oh, ooh. cool. <laughs> hey. Follow oh my. Angle. If you want to see it, back. it's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, it's right behind us. Get in the fucking corner. I sure hope there isn't a double tank buster after this. No, man! <laughs> <laughs> it's so evil. Ooh, big, big crunch. crunch. Meet him at McDonald's, bro. Big crunch. <laughs> that does oh. Holy wow. fuck. What's this? Big bounce. Sustaining damage over time. Okay, it's a dot. I'm so disappointed I can't rescue out of the black hole. That would have been too easy. This is the one HP thing, isn't it? Oh, right, yeah, yes, and then heal yes, full. Yes, yes, okay. Heal oh, right. and then the ground, the ground aways, the ground aways. <laughs> oh, right. I oh, my God. Oh. That'd be an awesome macro cause. Damn, this shit ain't hurt at all. Light oh. work, no reaction. Light work, no reaction. <laughs> Rend the rift. I don't like the sound of it. not my rift, dude. Rend the rift. Oh. Damn. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, look like at that, dude, look at the glass cracks. Wait, no, that's the source the over there. They're breaking through. Wait. That's the oh. moon. Stop. Oh. oh. Tumult. Oh. oh. Oh, the music change up. Yeah. Yep. Oh, my God. For real. They got the trumpets <laughs> from Diamond and Pearl, dude. Okay, float this. This is a Hoenn uh, region. This is oh, a knockback. Going on it's side. probably going to be a knockback Dude, from this crack. wall. Probably going to be a knockback from this wall. Looks like water. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, it's not. Ah! Me when I lie. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't fucking see anything. Oh, I can't see. I need a triangle. What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh, remember the order. Mm, I forgot the order. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh, that's a bleed. <laughs> oh, that fucking hurts, dog. I almost want to stop DPS and see the other mechanics if there are any. Nostalgia? Nostalgia? Final Fantasy IV the fans be like... Yeah, when I remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my eyes. Fuck. It's this fucking dead. It's fucking dead. It's fucking dead. Ah, that was oh, what a cool fight. That was really tight. I like that one. <laughs> I do, I do like the Whoa. bosses that have random bullshit. Go, <laughs> very, but very fast. Wait, we gotta close those fucking holes, man. This is not good. Mm. Nah, surely it'll be fine. That's the light, bro. 
That was a really cool trial. Who? Oh, right. Thirteenth shit. Oh. Damn, my boy! Let's go! Are you alright? He's just always him! Now that you're here, blushes. Yeah. Damn. He looks like a bug. Uh oh. Oh. Oh? Did they convince him? Like all void scent, Zeromus cannot be killed. Sealing it in memoria is the only way. Nice. Ah, that it should come to this. I failed my dear friend. Fell for the Asian's ploy and unleashed the darkness. And after an eternity of waiting, I find myself on my knees. How disappointed must you be in me, in the foolishness and futility of it all. <clears throat> no. I will not let it be for naught. I will not allow you to pass. I will triumph in my crusade. There is no triumph to be found in this <clears throat> madness. Even if the veil were to be unraveled, it would not undo what darkness has done to the world. Nor would it bring Golbez back. From his slumber, you know there is no return. You're weak and imperfect. You know it in your heart. In spite of this, do you truly believe that you can save everyone? Are you sure you will not fail? I'm no better. Weak and imperfect and plagued by doubt. Which is why I need friends to walk beside me. The power of friendship! But how? This is proof that I believe in others, and they in turn believe in me. A light that illuminates the way in darkest despair. Be it in a ruined city locked in ice, or a world drowning in light. It was with faith in one another that life endured. I see it clearly now. You think we are capable of the same? It won't be easy. Having lived too long as Void Scent, we've forgotten how to trust. But one thing is certain. If Zeromus succeeds and everyone dies, we'll never have the chance to try. True. You asked me to join hands with you once, and I refused. I cannot take back that mistake. But I can extend to you the same offer. We can be better than we have been. Growing light! Oh my god! Of course. You were the memoriate we met all those years ago. Very long time ago. <laughs> yes, I remember now. We hoped you would join us in our quest to end the Contra Memoria, but you rejected us outright. It left both of us discouraged. Golbez, most of all. 
If we could but overcome the fear that has shaped and divided us, we could change everything. Even in the midst of that terrible war, he never stopped believing in others. Not even at the end. You're Golbez now. If you would live up to his name, then you must trust in people as he did. I cannot forgive what you have done to my sister, but she may yet be saved. If you can help us see her safely home and protect the source, then... As Zero's friends, we should gladly share what knowledge we have to help you restore the Void. You truly believe the world of old can be ours again? I do. So long as we work together. It's definitely doable. <clears throat> oh, right, this fucking thing. Oh, God! Damn! We will disperse Zeromus's essence once more. The instant we do, you must call to Ashdaya. Understood. Uh oh. Damn! Wait! Her scythe! No! Uh oh. Oh. Uh. That's not good. <laughs> the suffocating darkness. Like that of the rift. Impenetrable. Disorienting. Untethered. <laughs> and drifting further away. I was just thinking the same thing. This might be a certified Cecil moment. Can you imagine? Don't, zero. Don't give up. Hold fast to yourself. Look to the light within. Your place isn't alone in the If dark she comes world, out of this anymore. like with a white outfit and she's the new caster that they haven't shown yet, that'd be really cool or something like that. Oh my god, it's happening. Did I fucking call it? Oh my god. <laughs> She's got the staff and everything, dude. Of course. Do it. With this power from beyond the rift, I can do it. I can save everyone. Dude! <laughs> Holy shit! Let's see it. This is the caster. I I bet I bet so much this is the new caster. Oh no, she's just a paladin. Okay, it's just Cecil. It's just Cecil, Mr. Cecil himself, bro. If you would make amends, then lend me your strength. They literally just Final Fantasy forward. <laughs> That's awesome. Cool. Anybody who's played Final Fantasy IV saw that coming from a fucking mile away. <laughs> Hear my voice and return to me. Oh, Urza. Oh, hey, Somebody cast rays. Whoosh! Turn into the dragon. Have care. Zeromus makes to <clears throat> resurrect. Uh oh. Not if I have anything to say about it. No more, fiend. Awesome. 
in hindsight, it was super obvious she was gonna turn into a paladin because all the flashbacks we saw of her, she had that shield on her back. Come on, man. How to seal a bitch. Her outfit looks so fire. You're safe now, Ashdaya. You're safe. Aww. To my sister, I shall offer up the eye in this vessel. We dragons bring forth progeny with our very life force. That which my eye harbors should be enough to grant her corporeal form. Of course, this means I shall no longer have control over this vessel. I must ask you escort Ajdaya to the surface in my stead. We came to bring her home, and we'll do just that. You have my word. It's so fitting that they had a Stinian say that about the dragon. Thank you. At long last, we shall be together again. Yay! Oh! It's like Midi. Scrawl! Oh, is this dia supposed to be red? Cool. Where are you going? Our world may yet be restored. I thought it an impossible dream once, but having witnessed your miracles, I cannot help but believe. Nevertheless, I am the villain who wrought this tragedy, and in my misguided crusade, I compounded my sins. My place is not at your side. <laughs> Regardless of how you may feel, by lending me your strength, you've made amends. You've earned a new beginning. It's up to you what we become to one another. Small. What we couldn't do yesterday, we might still do today. Working together. And should we want for strength? We need only rally more like-minded souls to our cause. So let's take the first step. The two of us. God, that texture update can't come soon enough. <laughs> nice. A little rushed IMO, but I like that conclusion. Well, beginning of the conclusion. Yeah, so about those fucking rifts. Never did I imagine that the light I bore could bring about such change. As our domains are shaped by our innermost desires, perhaps this is a reflection of the hope that had quickened in my heart. You came to the 13th to rescue Ajdaya and protect our world. Our meeting was happenstance, and our association one of mutual convenience. Yet you and yours always treated me with kindness, as a friend. And though your friend and through your friendship, I found a new beginning. I'm forever in your debt. Awesome! You gonna meet us back home, Vritra? Scrawl! Words cannot well express my relief that we could rescue my sister. Nor my gratitude to all of you. What of him, Gomez? He felt it would be inappropriate for him to be present at your reunion with Ajdaya, and chose to remain down in the chasm. If you wish to hear an apology, however, I should be glad to drag him here. <laughs> She's getting an attitude now, bro. <laughs> shall not be necessary. By his deeds hath he demonstrated his contrition. So, what will you do now? I've learned much, journeying together with you. Experienced things I could never have experienced alone. Together with Golbez, I hope to do the same as we labor to restore the mm. 13th. Okay, so she's gonna, she's gonna stay on the 13th and try to Bring back the balance. Then I suppose it's farewell for now. That light coming from the first will probably to share with Golbez what you've learned of the source and its reflections. Help a lot. As well as the true nature of light and dark. He is as resourceful as he is determined. And will surely make the very most of the insights. 
Indeed. Once we've gained a better understanding of the situation, I hope we can rely on your counsel. Nice. But of course, I too shall continue probing new possibilities. The better to be of aid when the time comes. Ah, speaking of which... From ocean rise and cloud bank form, from mountain spring and rainfall storm, from river flow and life be born. Stop, you're still on my furniture, it's floating. Stop! Come forth, my servant. Wait, you're supposed to do the cringy line, Ishtola. You changed it? Man. Um. I revised the incantation, which is not to say you know how it went before. <gasps> oh, 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 I. I <laughs> Are you clear? <laughs> Fuck, that's so funny. <laughs> er. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> Nidana provided me with spare warding scales, which apparently provide greater protection. Holy fuck, I have to shadow play that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the fact that it was me and Astidian was so perfect. <laughs> this should keep the familiar safe. So long as you give the Nixie ether from time to time. It will persist and serve as a beacon for us to find you. Cool. Already we find ourselves with a new ally. Thank you. When you have the chance, please thank everyone for me. You Those got it. Razatan, Garlemald, Charlien, the first and on the moon. A lengthy list. A gift for Reen. In return for the light she helped me harness. It's the Memoria holding Zeromus. We probably shouldn't just fucking give that to somebody as a gift. If used to augment darkness in the first, it may help to create balance between our worlds. Oh, you know what? Maybe. Mm, yeah. An excellent idea. Yeah. Similarly, why not entrust the Archfiend's Memoria to Zero? In that case, I shall pass them on to Golbez to inspire and admonish him. In equal measure. 13th is in good hands. I'm sure we'll see her again. Positive. Come what may, we will <clears throat> see it restored. And should we need a helping hand, I hope we can count on you once more. Super happy with where Zero's at now as a character. I wish we met her earlier. I guess, and had more time to like flesh out that transformation. But still, good. Good, good, good. Till we meet again. Bye. So how she's gonna get back to the surface? <laughs> um truly Golbez has a way. <laughs> no matter where we are, or how much time passes, our bond will endure. This, I believe. Yeah, Golbez probably has like a fucking portal or some shit. Oh, welcome back, everyone. While you were away, a rent in the fabric of reality suddenly appeared. <laughs> Throughout, we could observe you locked in a furious battle with Zeromus. By the time it closed up, we had seen your victory. Well done, by the way. Oh, okay, it closed up. I was gonna say, we never fucking closed those holes, man. But we still couldn't breathe easy until we knew for certain you were safe and sound, and here you are. Thank heavens. Dare I hope Ashdaya is safe too, and Zero? In a word, yes. Though we could not return Ajdaya to her original form, Reacher granted her a new vessel using one of his eyes. Her circumstances are unique, but it nevertheless gives me hope that there may be a way to save other Voidsen. As for Zero, she has chosen to remain in her world and do what she can to restore it. Ah, so the light of hope shines again in amidst the darkness. Perhaps our research into environments capable of supporting life would be of use in the 13th. Yeah. Oh, -ho, now there's a thought. A day may come when the people of the Source and the 13th work hand in hand. In anticipation of this, we must accumulate even more useful technology. And I must inform Jamming Way as well. I spy an opportunity for the last dregs to expand into the void. Oh, yeah, I guess. Ah, but don't let us detain you with our cavalcade of brilliant ideas. We'll see that the gate is closed and the seal is deactivated. So go home and get some rest. That includes you, Uriange. As thou dost command, pray convey our gratitude to the Watcher for his timely assistance. So it seems Reacher is preparing to depart. Come, let us descend to the Tower of Babel. 
Upon arriving at Garlemald, twould be meet to inform Eulis of our mission's outcome. Let us seek him out at the Tertium. Oh, he's not going to get to see Zero again. No. Oh. Sup, fucking nerds? Oh, it's you again. Is everything all right? You're not going to see Zero for a while, but she's okay. Also, we defeated Zeromus. So you were able to rescue Ashdaya. Thank the Twelve. Channeling light from the first was rather ingenious. It may fall short of cross-rift travel, but it's still an impressive achievement in my book. You're too kind. Suffice it to say, though, that I don't intend to rest on these laurels. There's always more to be done. Zero stayed in the void, did she? Well, if I had known it would come to that, I would have said a proper farewell. Sag. Zero sends her thanks. Thanks for what? I don't recall doing anything in particular for her. On the contrary, she's the one who risked life and limb. Still, I'm glad that she got something out of her time here. As the days roll on, things will change for the both of us. But some things will remain as they are. As far as I'm concerned, Zero will always be a friend and comrade. And I will never forget her. If she's working tirelessly to restore the 13th, it wouldn't do to be outdone here. When next Zero visits, we must see to it that you have a shiny new Garlemald to show her. True. <gasps> oh, Indeed. I can't wait for this map and to not look like shit in a couple of years. There's a matter I'd like to discuss with you and Alphino. Dude, if Garlemald gets a redo before Ishgard, I'm going to be a little fucking mad. That poor dude in the brooms has been Word picking rubble for how many years now? And people are excited by the prospect <laughs> of standing on our own two feet again. Naturally, it won't be straightforward. It never is. But on the whole, I have a good feeling about things. In other words, it may be time for us to limit our involvement. That Garleans might take the lead? I can see the sense in that. Yeah. No, no, that's not what I meant at all. I mean, didn't they? They opened up trade routes last patch, didn't they? Ceruleum for like other stuff so that Garlemald can start building their economy again. Seeing as things are going well, we want you to take a rest. A proper rest. That's what I wanted to say on everyone's behalf. You've done so much for us already. Toiled beside us in the cold for far longer than anyone could ask. You've earned a reprieve a hundred times over. So go on. <laughs> Step away from here. They're really selling the vacation X back, like. man. But if it were me, <laughs> I'd choose somewhere warm. We're literally... Okay, yeah. <laughs> Dawn Trail. Here we go. Awesome! I, I was thinking of taking a break anyway. Sometimes foreshadowing is obvious. <laughs> Far be it from us to go against such a heartfelt request. Though I would be lying were I to say matters here wouldn't weigh on our minds. We could take a leaf out of Zero's book and roam about for a while. Maybe visit nations who share little history with Garlemald. Look for opportunities to foster future relations. We might learn something of recent foreign affairs that has escaped our notice. Oh yeah, baby. Hmm. As an independent party, we would be well suited to the time. What's that new continent called, chat? Right? Does anybody remember? I totally forgot. Tyrol? Is that what it was? And it was in Hardly the like a rest at west? All. Was it northwest or southwest? On the map, at least, that they showed. To us, it is the best kind of rest. Stimulating and meaningful. <laughs> it's literally Brazil. If it's settled, then let's return to Charlian and consider our options. What about the rest of you? Do you have any plans? We're indebted to Lord Fortuno and his colleagues for their cooperation. It would be meet to report on the outcome of our mission. Hoping for Maricidian 8.0. Copium. Upon arriving, let us seek out Athelise at the Rostra and have her notify father. I need the dragon content so bad, Jitter. You have no idea, man. I need Maricidia so bad. Yo. Apologies to have kept you. I trust you won't object to if Scholar Montesjane also attends. Oh yeah, of course. My incorrigible children. Were you not assisting with Garlemald's reconstruction? Our hosts were the most insistent that we take a rest, so here we are. More importantly, Anuccio has news that she would share with you. Jeez, man, don't be too excited to see your kids. Fucking A. So the threat has passed. These are glad tidings indeed. Harnessing light from the first, a technological triumph. That could have ended in catastrophic failure. 
but let us not dwell on hypotheticals. Like the Aether from the Isle of Ham, you employed the, uh, the light for peaceful, albeit unanticipated purposes. Knowledge exists to serve the greater good, as my father was fond of saying. I'm inclined to agree in this instance. It has been established that world-ending crises in their reflections are connections to the calamities in the source. As such, the strides you made in understanding the nature and of and affecting a change in a reflection may one day prove vital for mankind's preservation. The forum will be eager to review your accounts thoroughly, for every drop of water serves to swell the greater river of knowledge. Might we prevail upon you to prepare a comprehensive report, Ishtola, on the subject of the void and cross rift travel both? It would be my pleasure. We will share these tidings with you, uh, with those who aided you, Koko Donk, uh, Donkol, not least of all. Now, if you'll excuse us, we must be on our way. With that, our obligations here are concluded. Oh, Nidana, what news from Thavnir? They've returned then. Wonderful. Rest assured, all is well with us too. Is that so? We would be honored, of course. I shall relay this to the others. A great feast will be held in Radzahan to celebrate Ajdaya's homecoming. We've all been invited. Oh, <gasps> food? I'm afraid my sister and I must decline. We've only just returned home. To leave again so soon would be inconsiderate to our parents. Yeah, makes sense. With regret, I too must excuse myself from attendance. A prior commitment requireth that I remain in Charlian for a time. Oh? Let not our absence deter you, however. Pray enjoy yourselves to the fullest. I have no plans in particular, so you can count me in. I may as well visit the Radiant Host while I'm here. How about you, Nuccio? I'd fucking love to go. <laughs> Far be it for me to turn down free food. <laughs> nom, nom, nom. That's the spirit. Ah, but what about the Memoria Crystal? It would be remiss of us not to deliver it promptly to our friends in the first. Yeah, I gotta handle that. Also, if they are to transfer light and dark between worlds, they will need uh, command over the Crystal Tower. In which case, I shall give you my spirit vessel to take again. When you arrive in the Crystarium, the sentry at the tower should be able to round up everyone for you. I get to go to the first twice in one patch? Ah, yes. The king has already shared what they glimpsed in the source. The day is won, and the danger past. Oh, fail also? Hearing the tidings lifted a great weight from my shoulders. Never before had I taken on such a monumental request. Small though it was, we are glad to have played a role in saving the Exarch's home. And yours. Thank God we got some Lena voice acting in this patch, bro. Furthermore, the endeavor served to reaffirm the bond between the peoples of Norrat. Nurturing this bond, we will strive to be an example for the world Zero aspires to restore. Oh yeah, here's this, by the way. <laughs> What's that? Zeromus. Oh. <laughs> a memoria crystal. I can feel it. The tremendous darkness within. <laughs> the Use dark darkness crystal. For glory to restore balance to this world. If such a thing could be done. Yeah, could definitely help. Well, well. Though night has returned to our world, darkness cannot arise of its own accord, much less in abundance. But if it could be brought here in like manner to how we channeled light to the void, it may well be possible to restore the empty in its entirety. Mm -hmm. You know, I was thinking a few patches ago, like if they could find a way to just like connect the 13th and the, the first and then just have like a like a trade and work. So I beg you loan it to me for a time. I would use it to investigate a way to have the tower receive yeah. rather than send energy. Thank you. While I make no promises at this stage, I shall rigorously explore the possibility. I too need to explore new possibilities for my powers. My recent experience at Navartha Rang has taught me that. To that end, I will set aside botany for a time and focus instead on myself. Knowing Zero is out there, doing her utmost to restore her own world, it inspires me to redouble my efforts. There you are. Oh, hey! I waited and waited, but you never came. What have you been doing here? What's up, Gaia? Yeah. Oh. Yo. Do I know you? <laughs> Don't tell me you've lost your memory again. Oh, I'm just teasing. I wouldn't forget you in a hurry. Bruh, that's mean. I'm still keeping my diary, adding new memories to it every day. Not only that, 
Gaia's writing a story, too. I can't wait for it to become a book. Enough about that. What were you talking about? Harnessing darkness from the void. Now there's an idea. Of course, if you're dealing with darkness, Reen alone won't cut it. Next time, call on me as well, all right? I'm glad they didn't just, like, forget her. <laughs> it was a mighty struggle, but I had faith that you would be victorious in the end. And I doubt not that the people of Navrin will cheer when they learn that the Warrior of Darkness managed to save her home. I know you're a busy woman, so don't let us keep you. Rest assured that we will continue the work we've begun. Excellent. All right, I've got a feast to attend to. It's time to chow down, baby. More food scenes in my fucking Final Fantasy XIV patch. Do, 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 do. Don't let this guy get too drunk again, bro. Oh, the food. Aw. <laughs> it cannot be. <laughs> oh, Vashan, my darling little brother. <laughs> to think that I will never see you again. The way you carry on. Anyone would think he was actually your brother. <laughs> Save your tears now. His Excellency still has one of his eyes. And he has made it clear he intends to continue using his vessel. You'll see Varshan again. Never fear. Truly. But will it be the little one? <laughs> oh, Nam Din, they did I you so dirty with that face, bro. <laughs> I can't take him seriously ever. Superior functionality besides. Bah. I don't care about such things. My little brother is... Oh? Little and adorable. <laughs> Sisters, give me strength. <laughs> For real, bro. Being so loved. Oh, mushroom skewers with cheese. Mm. Had enough of the revelry, have you? So, what's next for our hero? Hmm. No need to decide just yet. You'll recall our escapades in the void began with a treasure map I paid entirely too much guilt for. Yep, actually, you're right. You can't force an adventure. It'll happen when it happens. And you'll know when the time is right. Till then, it's good to lend an ear to others and their tales. And speaking of others... Discussing each other's plans, are we? Alas, I have nothing exciting to share. I foresee an extended confinement in my Charlian chambers, compiling my theories on cross-rift travel. My research may be classified, prohibited by the powers that be, but so long as a bond exists between people, ever shall our worlds be connected. As it stands, a means to travel to the first is within reach, and I would be satisfied even should my research not exist in an official capacity. And what of you, Estinian? Have you any plans? Oh, there he goes, being a Stinian. <laughs> he never was one to stay put for long. Though I've no doubt he will make himself known when needed. I hope he goes back to Ishgard for a bit. Uh, I don't know if y'all heard that, but something answered. Oh, shit. It was a lively feast, was it not? And it impressed upon me once again how dear Vritra is to his people. Well, as much as I'd like to linger, it is past time I took my leave. If you mean to depart as well, I suggest you call on Vritra before setting out. And before I forget, thank you for everything we learned and for everything we accomplished. I couldn't be more grateful. Till next time, take care. Anuccio, I hope you enjoyed the festivities. To be able to celebrate Ejdaya's return with everyone was moving beyond words. Lest you wonder, I've chosen to use this vessel for now. The better to escort my sister about Radzadhan. 
I'll seize my true form without an eye, but I do not anticipate having need of it in the immediate future. Long have I dreamed of showing Ashdaya my beautiful city, a glittering jewel born of unity, and I shall relish every moment of it. I believe Ishtola and Asinian have embarked on their respective journeys, but have you business elsewhere? If not, you are welcome to remain here as long as you like. Should our import arise, we will inform you. But until such day arrives, I bid you take your ease. Nice. All right, let's see it. Meanwhile, an old Charlan. Everything appears to be in order. Oh, oh, finished at last. So time consuming. How nice would it be to have a mammoth to handle such tasks? Now then, let's have a look at you. Quite old, this letter. We'll need to store it carefully. <laughs> Grile for Smash Bros. I bet this is going to be something about Tyrol. <gasps> Addressed to grandfather. And come all the way from Tuliola. Mm hmm From a gulu... someone. Yep. Oh, the ink's too faded. Hardly anything is legible. Dude, ink mage confirmed! Come on, give me something. A commission to investigate the Golden City. In Tural. How odd. No one ever mentioned such a commission. Nor have I seen any records. Aw, shit. Hmm. Something else in here. Huh? What an unusual earring. How does it relate the to the tradition, I wonder? Oh, did you go there, Grandfather? To the Golden City in Tural. Quick, Final Fantasy nerds, what does that mean? <laughs> Leprechaun confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> the next job is Irish. <laughs> <sighs> Wasn't Aaronville just handling like a homecoming of sorts? Back who's again saying? Already, after making a show of leaving. Now who's this? Well, this is it. Charlene. Quite a far cry from Tuliola, yes? Oh, they're from... <gasps> who are you? Come, let's go and find your candidate. Our adventure friend. <gasps> oh! Oh! They're gonna come find us! Oh, damn it! Let moonlight kiss the darkened shore as seaward drifts our gaze once more. Oh! Why, Square Enix, you're so mean! Fuck! Damn it! Oh, I'm so excited. Ooh, I'm so excited. Ah, uh, we have to fucking wait so long. God damn it. That was really good. Ooh, and that teaser was so fucking good.